Hello all Gskin users, I'm Jason and I'm a technical supporter from EZDS. Are you familiar with PC Utility Program? If not, this video is for you. Let me introduce you this useful program. With this PC Utility Program, you can update your Gscan software, write a vehicle diagnostic report, set up a printer network and view the data stored in the SD card. Since we do not want you to fall asleep while watching the video, we separated introduction of this PC utility program in part 1 and part 2. In part 1, I'm going to explain about how to install PC utility program and how to update software through online and offline. In part 2, which will be the next video, other useful information and features such as Vehicle Diagnostic Report, Trainer Network, Setup, and Data Viewer will be explained. Through the PC Utility Program, you can update your G-Scan software through online and offline. If you are in a place where internet speed is not a concern, you might prefer online software update since it's more convenient. You can just download 64 megabytes of a PC utility launcher from our website and you can download individual or entire software data from our database server. Assuming you have speedy internet connection, whole procedure of updating will take much faster compared to offline updating. Because if you are updating through offline methods, you have to copy the whole data into your computer first and then update your G-Scan. However, through the online method, you can just download update software from our database server. Nevertheless, if you are necessarily in a place where internet speed is very slow or in case of having no internet connection, you can update your G-Scan offline. Under your request, your local distributor will provide you necessary update software data in a storage device such as CD or USB memory stick. The size of software data usually ranges from 1 to 2 gigabytes or even larger. If it sounds a little complicated, do not worry. I'm going to show how you can download and install the program in your PC and how the online and offline method of software update is different. If you want to download PC Utility Program, go to the G-Scan website and click Support and PC Utility. You can see four attached files which you have to download. Before you download them, please make sure that you need to download them in the same folder. Otherwise, PC Utility Program may not be installed or functioning properly. Again, please download them in the same folder. Now the first file download has completed, click the second one, save it, save it in the same folder. The second file has been downloaded completely and save the next file and save it in the same folder. The third file has been completed and download the, the last one and save it in the same folder as well. And it's completed. And please extract the downloaded file and install the program.
If you request to your local distributor, you can receive PC Utility Program plus necessary update software files in a device such as a CD or a USB memory stick. Extract the files and install the program. After installation has been completed, insert the SD card into your PC. Before you update software online, you need to register your correct G-Scans serial number in PC Utility. There are reasons you need to input correct serial number before you start to update. First, this registration of serial number is not for GIT's database server. This is just for a PC utility because your SD card does not have such information including the serial number of your G-Scan. After PC utility recognizes the serial number, it will display four icons for G-Scan 1 or five icons for G-Scan 2 including print utility in the main page. However, it will always show five icons if you had registered G-Scan 2's serial number even once. Second, when updating software online, if you input serial number, PC Utility will recognize what software coverage your G-Scan 1 or G-Scan 2 needs to update. And it will show available and correct region software that can be updated. Speaking of correct regions, there are different software versions for different regions. For example, we have different versions for Japan, the United States, Taiwan, Spain, and so on. So you must input your G-Scan's own serial number correctly to receive applicable software. If you input incorrect serial number, you might download different regions software and when G-Scan recognizes SD card containing different region software, it is set to be locked by itself. When this happens, you need to contact your local distributor. After registering correct serial number of your G-Scan, you can see update expiry date below the serial number. If the date is expired, you can directly contact your local distributor for extension or there is extension request button when you enter the software update online. Click software update online. Read the message carefully and confirm that the serial number is correct. You can see the list of software for different brands. You can individually select software you wish to update. You can also see the software version stored in SD card and newly available update. Software which needs to be updated will be displayed dates in red color. If you look at the top right corner, you can see the extension request button. This button is used when you wish to extend update period and request to your local distributor. You can fill in the blank and by clicking the request button, your local distributor will be noticed and will contact you as soon as possible. When you're ready, click update. After update is completed, the date in SD card version will be changed. If you want to update offline, you can request update files to your local distributor whom you bought your G-Scan from. When you receive files, which is PC Utility plus updated software coverage, 
Make sure to ask your distributor that received software is for correct region. This is done for preventing unwanted system lock. Extract the files and execute setup. Install if you do not have PC utility in your PC or update to the latest version if you have one already. When you have no internet connection at all, expiry date below the serial number will not be displayed. Click Software Update Offline. Read the message carefully and confirm the serial number is correct. Choose the software you wish to update and click Update. When update is completed, date in SD card version will be matched to update version. After either online or offline update is completed, the next step is to insert the SD card into your G-Scan and enjoy newly updated functions. However, if your update expired date is already passed, you will encounter padlock sign on your G-Scan. G-Scan continuously checks the release date of each diagnostic function and it will display the padlock signs if there are any car brands, models, or special functions that have been newly released after the expiry date of your G-Scan. For those who never have seen the padlock sign, let me show you how it looks like. Here we have G-Scan 2 with expired subscription date, which is expired on 2014, August 14th. But I already updated software for 2015 January version. Let's look at BMW for example. If you select 3 series, here you can see the small padlock sign in front of the model name because this model is newly added in 2015 January version. No matter how many times you hit it, you cannot get access into it. If you want to get rid of this padlock sign, you must extend your update subscription date. Well, this G-Scan 1 has expired update subscription date as well, which is expired on 2014 November 23rd. Let's turn on G-Scan. And when the uh, update subscription date has been expired, you will see the message. It says your update subscription has now expired. Let's close it. Um, to see the padlock sign, let's go to BMW as well. And the 3 series. And here you can see the padlock sign in front of the model. No matter how many times you click it, you cannot get access into it. In 2015 January update, Hyundai and Kia Korean domestic version software is newly added. However, since the update subscription date is expired, you cannot get access into it and you will see this pop-up message. The items marked with padlocks cannot be selected from the menu and they are released only when you contact your local distributor for the extension or renewal of the update subscription. Other than the software updates, there is operating system update, but it will be performed automatically so you do not need to worry. Just follow the instructions displayed on the screen. Here are some key points in PC Utility Part 1. There are two types of software updates, online and offline. You must input correct serial number because there is a possibility of unwanted system lock. Check the update expiry date and extend to avoid padlock sign in your G-Scan. 
If you want more information about PC Utility Program, you can look up our G-Skin 2 manual. In part 2, I'll be explaining other useful features in PC Utility Program. If you have any question, do not hesitate to ask us and go to the Tech Q&A page of our G-Skin website. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.